Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Let's Talk Games, um, where the games in the background don't matter, but the games that we talk about do. Um, today's game that I would like to talk about is a old classic NES game from, uh, I believe it was 1992. Um, the game is Thriller Safari, that old TNC game with the skateboarding, surfing monkey. He's multi-talented. He's got all of the skills. He say he's based. The story of the game is pretty simple. It's basically Mario, um, before like back then, um, where girl gets kidnapped. Guy, a uh, big ape monkey guy, tries to save her. Uh, that's basically the gist of the game. Um, but how the game works is very interesting. He's a skateboarder monkey. He's basically Pro skateboard. He skateboard through different uh, terrains. So jungle uh, will be the first place that he goes because where else would you take a, a girl when you kidnap her through the jungle, of course. So you do have to go through there, and it's all about platforming and skateboarding through these physical um, obstacles. A lot of jumping. Um, basically, it, it's a lot of fun. It's a really fun game that needs to be that needs to come back, or at least needs a remake or something on at least the virtual console or on the Wii. Um, I don't know how they how are they missing this game. It was so much fun. Um, it was a little hard, but other than that, it was a lot of fun. It was my very first game that I, I believe I ever had, and my mom still talks about that game to this day. Um, that game needs to come back. It's just it was just a good time and. With, you would think that um, with the, it needs a graphics update. I wouldn't want them to ruin the game too much, but the game was uh, just a ton of fun to have. Um, I remember skateboarding through plenty of places, not knowing what the heck I was supposed to be doing, because <laughs> I was very young when I had got that game. Um, and it, it, I don't know if it was just me or I just, it was just difficult for me. I don't know. If it was just an age barrier. But the game was still so much fun, and if you've never seen the game, please look it up. Um, it's TNC2 Thrillers Safari. I mean, the main character name is Thriller Gorilla. How can you not want that guy to come back? He could be a mascot for anybody's game system. This guy was awesome. He had the shades. He was so cool. I don't know where he is now, but he, he he's probably cranky Kong now. He was he was that cool. He he probably raised Donkey Kong to be the man he is today. I don't know how this game isn't remade or rebooted somehow, some way. And I believe that the TNC was an actual company for skateboard and surfing products. So I don't know if maybe that has some kind of barrier to it and for how they would have to remake that game. But this game is very good. Uh, I wish uh, everybody could try it. If you have an NES system or you know somebody who has one, see if you picked it up. I um, picked it up uh, not too long ago. I had it. Um, I got it at a, a secondhand shop. They had an NES and they had a whole bunch of NES games that you could purchase. Um, that that uh, whole the story because that didn't end very well when I took the NES home. But it was a birthday present for my mom, so when we I gave it to her so she could play that game because she loved Thrillers Gorilla, that she loved that game. So we took that game system home and uh, we plugged it up, had all the cords, everything. We were ready to go, put the game in, and we were all set. We thought this was gonna be great. We're gonna see something from our past and we love it. We're gonna not we're not gonna stop playing it until we finish it. And like I said, we popped that game in. And it started to smoke. I don't know what the hell they did to that system when they said they fixed it, but it, the whole back of that thing started to like seem like it was on fire. It was so smoky. Um, so took it back. They told us they would fix it, but they took too long, so we just said forget it. And we never got to get that game again. And I would love for them to make a remake of that game. I mean, this game is two hundred dollars on Amazon. If you want this game, it's, it's not cheap, which is why we need a remake. And I think that more people need to play this game. Um, well, that's it for Let's Talk Game. Let me know what y'all think in the description. Uh, I mean, in the uh, comment section. Let me know what I need to do 